welcome back everyone to some more new world eternum today we are uh continuing on with our new character that i currently at i'm at level 31 so we're getting there um catching up to where i was at i was at like level 34 got a few quests to do and we'll take it from there uh it's been a few days since i last played been busy playing a lot of other different things uh it looks like they have some sort of halloween event going on now which is cool it's interesting uh, maybe we'll interact with that a bit but for now we'll just keep leveling up try to make some progress and then uh take it from there greetings young warden i must we're still penny for i run through this we're still catching up to where i was at so i will keep on uh growing through some of these conversations but once we get to where i was then uh, like i have said we'll slow it down a bit trying to get myself into uh doing some more recordings i've uh still now i'm feeling much better but i was getting over sick for a bit and uh now i'm trying to, to crack down so that way i have videos like this one drop in every day at like 1 p.m eastern for uh the weekdays that's the ultimate goal I mean, if I was doing this full time, I would be going live at those times instead, and I would have more time to dedicate uh, to this, and it would be longer. But for now, this is what we got, so I'm going to make do. You know, that's all you can do. But one day, though, one day it'll it'll happen. Go talk to Sun Uchun. Oh, I'm still pressing still doing it i'm still pressing e. i don't have the e all right i'm still pressing f when i need to be pressing e but it's kind of cool seeing that they have a uh a halloween event going on if you are doing anything for halloween i hope you enjoy i hope you have fun where whoever you are watching this I'm not really doing anything other than I have specifically said I'm not doing anything for Halloween or the entire weekend of Halloween because that is the same day that Dragon Age the Veilguard drops, which for those of you that don't know, we recently played all the Dragon Age games uh, from start to finish, brand new characters, everything, and also... Um, reviews came out yesterday and it seems like as far as critics go they've all gave it a pretty good review uh some creators that i follow ended up not liking it that much and then some other creators that i follow or found out about ended up actually really liking it so it seems like it's very divisive but i think for those people that do end up enjoying it like myself i'm invested either way I'm generally positive about most things that I play anyway, so I think I'm going to have a good time. But that's my plans for Halloween. Go grab these. We got burn four caskets and then cleanse darkness. Is there a rested XP? I'm just noticing that. Oh, man. I see we're at like three times uh, XP bonus right now. And the bar's a little purple. So I'm not sure if that's if that is rested XP or if that's something else. I was I always wonder if they had that or not. Small prey can now be tracked. Oh, we also have some points to use. Let me do that real fast. I'll get my strength up. Burn this one. I still love that multiple people can do the same same objective for most things. Oh, 
But I know for most people that probably end up liking this game. Uh, for me, I've always kind of said that this game reminds me a little bit of RuneScape in a way, like a modern day version. A little bit. Not like a ton, of course. Obviously, there's huge differences. But as far as like inspiration goes and all that, it kind of does a little bit. And I saw that there's a game that came out today, or actually, yes, at the time of recording this. Um, of it's like a single player style RuneScape, but you can also still like you don't have to play online, but you can also sometimes see other players in like the common areas or the towns called like Black Grimoire first something it seemed pretty cool though so i might uh i'm mentioning that because i may or may not pick it up and do maybe like an episode or two because it, it looks fun runescape like old school runescape is one of the games i grew up on but back then it was just called runescape like one of the first mmos i ever actually played Back when you you would play it through a browser, it wasn't even like a launcher or anything. It was literally you would just go to a RuneScape website or Jagex website. Things that definitely changed since then. keep using my mouse wheel to scroll to uh, my next weapon type. Search the grave. Oh, hold on, mate. There we go. I have to wait until they're done. There's still people out here leveling and oh, stuff, which is cool. Whatever Umberto says, you mustn't believe. Him. I mean, it's been a few days. Something in the Grand Vigilant so. changed after I expressed doubts about Sonsbrook. Grab this. He's been paranoid about keeping secrets. There's something about making a heart change. <laughs> like those mad soul wardens. I fear he's trying to turn us against each other. If we don't stay united. I worry we'll both <laughs> By the way, if you guys do end up enjoying this, this is the first episode that I'm doing that's not uh, streamed. So if you are enjoying it, leaving likes help a ton. I know everybody says that, but it really does make a difference. It helps not only new people finding the channel, but same thing with, uh, especially when we get this far into the episodes. I don't know what, I think we're on like eight or nine right now. I think it's eight. Um, that's when, you know, only the dedicated people are still watching. Everybody can watch. Well, most people will watch episode one. Some will watch episode two. Even less will watch three. And so on. But I know you're out there. Grab this. All right, let's hop on back onto our horse. Bring the uh, bring the vigilance sigil at the shrine down here. Okay, I see. I'm gonna follow the road. But yeah, if you guys um, if you have are still watching, or I mean. If you are still playing the game, let me know what classes you've been going. Because I'm curious how many... It's always interesting to me. I wonder how many people play the game and watch at the same time. Or, like, watch another playthrough while also playing that themselves. Or, I know there's also a lot of people that don't have time to play that so they watch through other people. Um, Bright, what we I'm see curious how many people are actually playing themselves. I'll pick up this quest since it's probably going to be on the way. Mm -hmm. 
one part right here. Okay, it's a little bit more in depth than I thought. Eh, we'll just stick to the main. We're almost at that point. Secrets of the Earth. Funny, right when I went to go log in, I got an achievement for joining the sanctuary. Or no, joining a faction. Which is interesting because I, I joined one on the other character too. Alright, I think it was for joining the syndicate. Or maybe it was bugged or something like that. Okay, it's retreating. Ah, removing the they pose. This is how. Got some new boots. Inventory is still still looking good right now. That's a good sign. This is the one that we already learned. Yep. Go by a score. We have a spear. Fine. These are the, the boots that we just got. They are medium. I can throw them on. Constitution. Oh, this one's a little better too. I think a lot of the stuff I'm wearing is more constitution. Yeah, just more health. <laughs> sure, I'll throw them on. And then we'll just have to transmog it. So, let's go. Also, we have some points to use again. I'm going to try to get strength to, like, 50 now. Yeah, jeez. 58 <laughs> for constitution. All from my gear. That's crazy. Um, okay, where do you go? Get there again. I always remember I fight through the settings here. Change skin. We're going to go the Robin Hood set. Apply set. And then chest wear. We're going to throw on the Ranger chest piece. I, I actually love this getup. I know it's it's a little different, but it looks clean. I love the cape to it. I had no intentions of going for a Robin Hood setup, but it kind of just worked out this way. It was my calling. What can I say? Love using a bow, too. this nice a good combo right there eat some food that way we heal some more I still really like the uh, the action part. Uh, it's it's kind of nice being able to like aim and get headshots compared to just you know selecting a target and mashing a button. It'd be cool if the staff like let you do this too, but it doesn't. It's just like you, or not even the staff, the, um, 
the void gauntlet. I think there's only a block to it, if I remember correctly. This area seems a little different. I don't know if we were here last time. Okay, we got the herb. This area looks really cool, so I'm gonna take a screenshot. Behind the scenes. For the thumbnail. Alright, we're good. Nature resistant. health that was kind of close there but we got it okay now visit the azoth tree to collect the sacred waters yeah this area looks really pretty what is that Yeah, the bow still feels so good. I do love it. Okay, I think we are actually at the... Yeah, the, I'm pretty sure this is where I swapped or around that area where I swapped characters. And made this one. I think we're finally caught up. I, I, I do remember this, like, section. I don't remember these enemy types, though. Wait, this requires logging skill? Uh, I guess. Huh. This is like a nature beast. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. We definitely did not do this. Okay, that looks even cooler. I'll have to compare the two screenshots. A no HUD keybind is one of my favorite keybinds in games. I feel like there's supposed to be voice lines here. Now they protect that tree from the corruption.
Okay, that was cool. Yeah, it, it kind of felt like there was supposed to be some voice lines there. I don't know if it like bugged out or didn't play or if that's just how it was, but collect the pure Azoth water. Bring the filled vessel to Sun Uchan. So you will let me go this way. Oh wait, is this right by the Syndicate Shrine? Oh. I remember I had to come into this area for the uh there's like water I had to collect right here when I was joining the syndicate. That's kind of cool. Okay, okay. Oh god. That's what that public event is right now. Night Vale Hollow has brought the dark entity Baalazu. He's level 65 though. I would get absolutely wrecked if I went over there. But I think I'll, I'll play it smart. Only a little bit of fall damage there. Not too bad. All oh, right. Um, where's the fast travel point? I think it's inside here. Two names glitching out. All right, let's fast travel up here. I swear. <laughs> Some of these names, man. Some of these names are great. <laughs> there is some, don't worry. All that remains. I will go on to Kaya. Okay. Uh, we'll slow it down a little bit. The alchemist is clearly gifted in some vestal fashion. You've done well partnering with her. My tidings are less inspiring. No sign of grand, vigilant Umberto in the Fen. But a clue guided me to find him back here. After all we've learned, I presumed Umberto had long since fallen lost. It would have been a just fate. But no, I confronted him myself, and to my horror, his humanity has somehow been preserved. We forged himself a heart gem. Did he? Or he forged himself I will refrain heart. from commenting on that practice out of respect, but Umberto must be called to answer for his crimes. If the heart gem protects him, it must be destroyed. Though I cannot be the one to do it. I'll do it. Tell me where he is. The wretch has been hiding out all this time. And when I accosted him, he sealed himself inside the sanctum at Vigil's stand. Break him there. Defeat him. And take his heart gem. I will await your return. Godspeed, my friend. All right. Level 34. We finally caught up. We did it. Together, we did it. We get some of these perks. How's my bow looking? You can claim six achievement rewards. Wait, what? The archaeologists join the faction. Join the faction. Only play solo. <laughs> the voice chat doesn't duel. Archery expert. Oh, I like that. Hatchet expert. Okay. Oh, so we got all those titles unlocked. My bow is almost level 14. Uh, hatchet's still 11. Let's see. Oh, I want to get rid of the yeah gear sets. We don't need those. We got some better pants. Throw those on. Honestly, you can't even tell it doesn't match. Or it isn't part of my set. Yeah. 
Hunt down brother Umberto. Go get him. I feel like we're right on level for this, which is nice. Even one level higher. I will have to stop and fight in a second. All right, let's do it now. I feel like I don't do the dodge back anymore. I mean, that's fine. I really just want the hatchet to be able to throw it, to be honest. The not doing the dodge back is, is not like an issue. Grab these supplies. Got some trapper pants. All right, we got another bow. That's all that this quest give up, gives me uh, a new bow, too. So that'll be nice. Okay, we got to find three more keys. The one right here. That next room, I'll get these guys. Because they're going to attack me anyways. Oh god, what was that? Was that delayed of the guy blowing up? I think so. Oh man, it's a waste. Oh, well. that okay one more key Grab this one. Stay here. Unlock the sanctum gate and enter the sanctum. Is it over you have to go to the front one. Brother Umberto. Sir Galahand sends his regards. I will not nor will I Actually, pretty difficult. Level thirty five. Come on, there it is. Got it. Return and report your success to Galahad. Galahad. It's 
interesting that it's like a little instance like that. <laughs> Wasn't exactly expecting that. All right, go right. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I guess we used up all the rested XP. Across the wall. Oh no, oh no, I'm stuck in the corner. I am stuck in the corner. What is going on? Alright, I'm running. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. They'll stop chasing me in a second. Yep, there they go. It is done then. The it tragic is. tale of the once brave brother Umberto finally draws to a close. I am grateful to you, my friend, for helping me atone for my part in all of this. We will never know if I might have prevented these atrocities. Blaming yourself serves no one. You are kind to say so. And indeed, we must look forward, never back. Speaking of which, I gather you and Jonas now seek to remove the curse on care done and claim it for the Soul Wardens. I suppose that's fitting. I must apologize. I judged the Wardens unfairly, perhaps during the Crimson Madness, but most certainly now. You've proven the Order is honorable and strong. With a corrupted returning, I salute your courage in facing it. What will you do? I will return to Calvary and seek other ways I can help restore the Brightwood. Perhaps Pennyfather will have grown a spine by now. <laughs> Either way, I will find some way to serve. Why not help fight the Corrupted? I'm not sure I have it in me to face the Crimson Menace once more. Sure you do. This business with Umberto has left me feeling my true age. I will have to consider the offer carefully. And then... Perhaps I shall join you at Care Done. Very well. Bring Umberto's heart gem to Sun Kuchana near Care Done. Uh, where's that at? Up here? North? We also have a new. A new weapon to use, so I can equip that in a second here. Is it any better than my current one? Thought we just got a uh, a bow. Maybe it's not any better than my current. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Corrupted sight. Oh, maybe it was this one, the Rangers Clarsus. Yeah, it's not looking any better. Oh, well. Can you actually get rid of the commons and uncommons? Same thing here. How's the horse doing? At level 40, we can put a second uh, add-on. The Curse of Care Done. Oh, whoops. For some reason, I thought they were inside. Welcome back, Warden. If I had known the difficulty in claiming the fortress, I might have thought twice. However, I understand it was Umberto's actions that cursed these grounds. And somehow, he was the last one standing. He tried to forge a heart, st heart gem. Heartstone. Hmm. It seems his soul was tormented, and perhaps that drove him to make poor decisions. This island eventually makes fools of us all. Come, though. Speak with the young lady. She has made all kinds of preparations. Well. Oh, recovering. Oh, you were just in time to interrupt Jonas sharing another tale of your exploits. 
Not that I wasn't enjoying them, of course. But I'm keen to take a shot at removing this curse. Assuming you have the heart gem. Are you ready? Yes, just tell me what to do. Keep in mind, this isn't an exact science. But whatever bad deeds the Vigil performed here, the worst of them were in the Undercroft. Okay. I've anointed the entrance with pure Azoth water and placed the sigils. What about the heart gem? Take Umberto's heart gem into the Undercroft and destroy it. If what I'm hearing is true, and it protects some part of the soul, hearing is true. you may face some resistance. Bottom line. He must answer for what he did. Very well. Enter the Undercroft to destroy the hard gem. Did we already get this map? I think so. Oh, okay, so it's a solo uh, soul trial again. Here we go. We'll see how this uh how this one plays out. Place the flawed heart gem upon the cursed altar. Smash the heart gem. Almost got it. Two more hits. Final one. There it is. My soul will not be so easily vanquished. Alright, what's the deal here? the curse. And we got it. Oh god. Exit this whole trial. Just like that, it's done. Brother Berto is done for. Return to the surface with the news. Oh, first lifted. That's kind of cool. The zoom out. Ask if the curse is lifted. <laughs> it looks a lot brighter here now. Oh, that's kind of cool. The war table. I like the background there, too. I must admit, I really wasn't sure this would work. But look at this place. Same. 
I'd say it's as pristine as the day it was built. You and I make a good team. Indeed, you should say. <laughs> Funny. Jonas said the same and Galahad's on board. So I think I might allow myself to go along with the flow. Speaking of, I didn't push you on this before, but something happened to you at the Azoth tree, didn't it? I saw a woman with a purple eye. I told you that tree had power, didn't I? Its wisdom is directing you, of course, telling you what to do next. I think Galahad mentioned a sorceress with a purple eye. Maybe we need to find her. Ask him about it. Hmm. Okay. Talk to Jonas of Alizar. You've done well, young one. As menacing as that corrupted army and great cleave may be, I believe we are safe here. I hope so. I will maintain my focus on recruiting and training new soul wardens to defend the place. You, on the other hand, have no such luxury. Of course. You've been quiet, but I can tell the voice of the Tempest still speaks to you. You are connected through the pure Azoth you were exposed to, and corruption strive to claim it. What does that mean? It means you have been imbued with a power that exceeds my understanding, and it makes you both a target and a threat to the enemy. I do not envy the destiny that lies before you, nor do I know where it leads. What do I do next? I will not pretend to understand such things as the Azoth tree, but neither will I deny its primal power. You should heed the vision as Sun suggested. Ask Galahad about this mysterious sorceress with the purple eye. Okay, level 35. So close to 50 there. It seems Providence has already seen fit to verify I made the right choice in coming. I hear this talk of the sorceress with the purple eye, and I believe we have another quest to undertake together. You know of the sorceress? Yes, though I know her by another name. The corpse crone of Weaver's Fen. I have doubts about her existence, but may a penny father in Calvary's obsessed. Go and hear his account, and then meet me on the road to the Fen. Okay. Go to Calvary and ask Pennyfather about the corpse crone. So back over here. Yeah, we'll just recall it today. I mean, it's not far. <laughs> but at the same time, whatever. We haven't used it. Save us, like... Maybe a minute or two of travel. Alright, what do we got here? Talk to Tunstall Pennyfather. Oh, whoops. Well, we could have used the mount there, but that's okay. Wait, what is that? Collect treats, put on Night Vale costume to gather. You again? Oh, no, please. I have nothing more <laughs> to confess. You've already exposed my secret shame, and I understand you managed to lure Sun away on some crazy enterprise. What more can you take from me? Who is the corpse crone? The corpse crone? Don't say that name so loudly. She you be said summoned. it louder than me. She is the true cause of all this darkness in Brightwood. Indeed, I have written an account. Just uh, read it for yourself and know the horrors she wrought. Okay. The horrors. Oh no. Read the history. Oh, it's going to play it. Nice. Long ago, a witch crept into the eastern fens. This was the corpse crone. And she cast a wicked spell. The deadly hex spread like a sickening plague. The island's immortality was twisted 
made obscene. The curse of the lost would haunt our lands. The people sought salvation from this plague. Desperate, we believe conviction our only course. We discovered the soulless could hide amongst us. Committing them to the cold earth was the only answer. Eventually, the crone's purpose became clear. Her hex would bind the restless lost to her will. To this day, her foul curse lingers. Until her evil can be forever extinguished. Okay. There now, you know the full story. Whatever terrible deeds you attribute to the Bright Vigil, they were victims too. Tell me though, do you mean to track down the vile crone and hold her to account? I plan to seek her out at least. Be wary then, nosy traveler. Weaver's Fen is a foul territory ridden with sickness and despair. despair. All the crone's doing, no doubt. I wish you luck though. Or perhaps a miracle. You'll need it, I fear. Meet Galahad near the Penine Shrine. Penine Shrine? Where is that at? Okay. Uh, let's fast travel there. Not too far out. Oh, whoops. Canceled it. I love that we're capped on Azoth now, as in like, we have plenty to be able to fast travel like this for it only being, you know, 10. That's not bad at all. You've heard Pennyfather's sordid tale, have you? I, have. I do not give that man's story much credence. Neither do I have any desire to meet this sorceress. Such types cannot be trusted in my experience. We've come this far, and discovering the truth about the source of the Lost Plague seems wise. But there's a great deal of ground to cover, and little time, if the corrupted are as strong as they seem. Let's find the corpse crone. Careful not to give too much credit to the Azoth tree. Nature here does not always align with humanity's best interests. If she exists. I suspect, however, the corpse crone may be hiding secrets of significant power. Where do we find the crone? There's a stalwart knight named Sir Britmar who once protected the Fen. If she remains, I shall request her aid in this venture. Meanwhile, the crone's curse began in Perryville, so I suggest you search there. Do be careful. Search Perryville for information on the corpse crone. Ah. Let us make our way there. We'll grab the fast travel point down the road here. There are some, uh, okay. So now we're in Weaver's Fen. That's cool. Well, there's some quests up here. Um, sure, I'll I'll pick them up. It's quiet. I feel the my compa. Pick this one up. Oh, hello. So, so they're probably gonna be on our way. Yeah, pretty much. Level 14. That's what I like to see. Okay, we got all the other. Honestly, I'll just grab this one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> ouch, ouch. I am hurt. I'm getting hurt badly. Oh my god, there's so many of them. 
Guys, chill. Chill, chill, chill. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Oh no, I should have gotten the shrine first. No. Oh. I, you know what's funny? I was literally going to say that. Like, the second that I'm, I'm about to kill this guy, they're going to retreat. Because I saw the other one retreat. Learn about the bow's ultimate abilities. The ultimate ability for the tree, evasive tactics, gives you a brief damage bonus after dodging. Properly time your dodge to maximize your damage output and survivability. Ultimate ability for the hunter tree, concussion... Uh, okay, so we're on Hunter Tree, I think. Precision by dealing additional damage with headshots. Practice consistent headshots to maximize your damage output. Precision is key. I think that was this one right here. Yep. When you land a headshot, deal 20% more damage. That is what I like to see. And I just grabbed this one, which I deal 10% more base damage to foes at least 10 meters away. Not too bad. It'll continue to grab those. Um, my hatchet, still slowly leveling up, but the next one we'll be able to get is this. Take a target with a thrown hatchet extends the duration of all hatchet debuffs you applied on the target by 25%. All, target, uh, all attacks deal 4% additional base damage per debuff on the target. It's kind of cool. Social distancing, that's funny. <laughs> It's a target with an active debuff. Gain haste. Increase your movement speed for 20 sec 20 for 6 seconds. 20% for 6 seconds. If standing still or moving backwards, you will dodge backwards, obtaining mom uh, momentary invulnerability. Oh, so... Wait, if standing still or moving backwards. So if you're moving forward, you won't dodge back, I guess. This attack inflicts 30% disease and 10% weaken to your target. I feel like I should do that. So let me actually change this order then. Let's do Q is going to be the heavy attack there. Then this one's going to be the quick throw. And then this one's going to be the dodge back. Because I usually go in order. So I'll go Q, R, F. And then after I'll swap Q, R, F. I didn't realize it applies weekend, but you know that that would help if you actually run them. You know, I think these just explode, does damage to all targets within radius. That radius is tiny, 2.5 meters. Like nothing. If it was like five meters. That'd be nice. And now I can do that. Look at that. Look at that distance. It's funny. I was thinking about changing that up earlier, but I just didn't. So now we can uh, apply that weaken and the other debuff and hit him with the quick bro. And then do the dodge back, swap to my bow, and then boom, boom, boom. Take the shot. Just like that. That's a good combo. Damn. These bow headshots really do a good amount of damage, too. Love to see that.
Okay. Grab these. I should really, you know what? Before I even go further, we're 200 meters away from the shrine. So I'm going to get that first. Before I even try to do anything else. Just so one, we have a respawn point, and two, uh, well, I think I might, I don't know if I die, if it would still let me have a respawn point, but we can at least, like, fast travel back and forth. Nice. Now we got some Weaver Sven ending. We only need one more ancient stone sample. I'm going to try to get the one that's inside of here. We might have to run up the road to go hand this in. If we do, that's, I mean, that's fine. I'll do that. Ancient stone sample, ancient urn. And, okay, she's somewhere else. Oh, sweet, she's down the road. I'll go into the uh, main area. See if we can do this. <laughs> Defeat the denier and bring its denier femur to Evelyn Van Heck. Go for a little bit more in this episode. The off off stream episodes, I. I kind of do whenever I can, uh, whenever I have some free time. So for right now, they're typically, they typically end up being about an hour ish. Oh no, there's so many. Where did you guys come from? What the hell? close there <laughs> kind of nervous but that's fine Did you say uh oh every time i hit him he's like uh oh Oh no, what? Oh man, I wasn't even looking at my health there. I, yeah, I was not even looking at my health. That was hard to tell that I even died, I guess. Damn, I had no idea. Let me check something real quick here.
hear people running around. All right, we're going to have fast travel real quick over to... Where's the closest... Oh, Weaver. Weaver's Fen is the closest one, I see. Actually, it's free, so let's just do this. Calvary Town. Check my gear real fast. Open up this. Cool. Oh, we got a new ring. Oh my god, more constitution. <laughs> Holy. 285, 260. Go with this. Oh, you have a hat too? More constitution? Does everything just give you constitution? I'll change the... Um, the look of that here. Change skin. About to, oh, wait, no. We're going this one. Why? Beautiful. All right. Well, we are actually going to chill on this episode right here. So, again, if you guys ended up enjoying this, leaving likes help a ton. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. It's the best way to be notified. For every platform, because I know YouTube doesn't push them out sometimes. Sometimes Twitch doesn't push them out. Sometimes TikTok doesn't push them out. But anytime I go live or post something, there's literally live uh, notifications and YouTube notifications in there. If you want one or the other. But that's all. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. I will see you all in the next one. I'm going to try to record the... the next episode of this today so that way we have some more to put out uh through this week but i'm gonna take a break before then so all right have a good one thanks for watching see you next time peace